My name is Don Albensi. I uh, started Albensi Dental Laboratory in 1979, uh, a one-man laboratory, and uh, so 32 years ago, uh, and we have now grown it to where Albensi Laboratory has uh, somewhere around 60 employees. Um, so from the time we started till now, quite a few things have changed. Uh, we went from the analog world, everything being done uh, by hand, to digital. In November of 2010, uh, we read an article in one of our dental journals and uh, we found out that Glidewell Dental Laboratory just purchased uh, two object printers, the Object 500s. Uh, we, uh, we had uh, done some homework and we started reading a little bit about the object printer, so we were, we were familiar with it. Um, after uh, taking a trip up to Boston, uh, to see the, the printer in the, in the company, uh, we decided to purchase one in December of 2010. Uh, the printer uh, was, it came in here, it basically plugged in and started working. It was, uh, it's a workhorse. It normally took about five to seven days to produce a restoration. And so we've, we've developed it now to a, a digital workflow that we can create restorations within two to three days. Um, we're using a lot of applications uh, we've, and can we continue to do R&D and create other projects for our printer uh, and it is very accurate. As you can see here we have uh, demonstrated here we have a, a fully articulated quadrant model that we produced along with a um, just a single uh, what we call POM, peace of mind. Uh, when we're doing monolithic restorations we like the idea that we can send something back to verify both the margin and the contacts and the marginal ridge of the crowns that we're sending back to the client. And as you can see here, this demonstrates how the restoration, and this is, a, this is an Emacs restoration we produced, uh, and uh, we do have a removable die. This is a uh, die, an individual die that was created to fit inside here so the dentist can actually remove the die, uh, examine his restoration prior to the patient coming in, Prior to the patient coming into the office, he can examine the die, check the margin, marginal integrity of the case, as well as the contacts, two major areas that doctors have in fitting restorations. As we um, introduce this technology to our clients, uh, the, the words that we get back from them are, I can't believe I haven't been doing this for years. It's made, it has made uh, dentistry fun again. Uh, it's nice to have predictable results. Uh, my staff enjoys this. The way that we've incorporated the uh, object printer is to produce models mainly based off of COS scans. Uh, what happens is we will receive that image from the doctor, we will take it into our model generation software, and from that point, do what we need to define the margin, separate the die, and then send it to the object printer at the end of the day. From that point, we'll let it run overnight, and it will print the models necessary. And in the morning, uh, crew comes in, takes them off the tray, and cleans them up. After the Object 350 was placed in our laboratory, uh, you know, we were anxious to get it started. Um, uh, the first time it was, the first model that was printed, I, I'll never forget, you know, because as I was looking at this thing being printed, I just, just remembered where I came from and how, and, and the, the time that it took to actually pour a model, cut the dies out, trim the dies, and, you know, it took, you know, months, years to perfect this. And when I saw this first model being printed and after we cleaned it up and put the parts together, I was, I was amazed at the quality. Now that we've had the object printer in our in our uh, workflow here for six, seven months now. Uh, standing back and looking at our decision to pur purchase this, we're, we're very happy with our decision. Um, it's a literally plug it in and let it work.